From inception, Afe Babalola University at Dwegeti was established as an institution to play a major role in Nigeria's engineering. To achieve that purpose, the provision of all necessary modern infrastructure, the acquisition of professional equipment, recruitment of first-class staff, and their regular training. If there is one thing for which this country, indeed the whole of Africa, will be grateful to uh, Are Afe Babalola, it is going to be the generating the awareness of the need to have, have an enhanced, improved quality of teaching and learning that will then produce in turn, in spite of all the odds, the type of quality delivery and then the quality product of the institutions and the alumni that will now go into all the parts of the whole world to make a difference. In the health sector, Abwad has been most resounding in its drive to empower the public. For this reason, the university had partnered with Project Cure International for various training programs in quality health delivery. And all the babies live. Project Cure of USA has been there from the conceptual days of the hospital. I am really, really happy for this day. We took it from a dream to be in reality. And now we're going to build on that reality. I just saw some fantastic equipment, the MRI, the CAT scan, the mammography machine, bone density machines. We've now contributed six semi-truck trailer containers from Project Cure, and we're going to continue to send more and more and more things in there uh, in, until we've got this completely operational. But I'm really excited. This is a special day for Nigeria. Of significance value in the Project Cure trainings are those centered on methods to enhance child delivery helping babies to survive. These trainings were attended by Albert medical doctors, nurses, midwives, and students of medicine and the health sciences. Yay. Trainings were held in the Albert Multisystem Hospital and at other locations within and outside the university's community. <laughs> One how, how long? One day and then they go home? They go home. Mm -hmm. 24 hours? 24 hours. Okay. okay. If there's no complication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, yeah. for normal yeah. deliveries. Okay. Following several training programs coordinated by Project Kill representatives, the trainees embarked on other rounds of training of birth attendants in small health facilities in rural communities in the Ekiti State. No, I don't. Okay. So this is The trainings have been most successful, leading to improved expert handling of child delivery by midwives and other related health workers. Health outreach program is another aspect of ABWA's pursuit of sustainable development goals. The outreach program has been focused on the provision of health care at subsidized cost to members of the Nigerian society who come from far and wide. Services rendered at heavily subsidized cost include free registration and consultation, 50% treatment fee, 50% discount on all investigations, free minor surgeries, free routine medications, free sexual and mental health awareness, 50% major surgery for nursing care services and bed occupancy for surgical cases. You are going to see now a live demo where all the vital parameters of the patient are going to be measured. The health outreach program is organized intermittently every year. The can come here and basis on his case will be able to triage and give them an appropriate doctor who can address his issues. The development of agriculture is another area of interest of Abwad. Every year, the university organizes agricultural fair named ABAX. The concept is to encourage more people to go into agriculture. Alongside the 
capacity in order to provide agricultural jobs in the different aspects of the farm. In 2021, 250 farmers from the 16 local government of Ekiti State benefited from a grant of 13 million naira donated by the founder, Are Afe Mabalola. The overall best farmer in the state was given a cash award of 2 million naira. In collaboration with Abwad, UNESCO donated fumigation equipment to 48 young farmers. Another collaborative effort in agriculture is that between Abwad and the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, Ibadan, and other institutions. So far, the YESA IFA project have trained 896 youths from both Nigeria and Benin Republic since its commenced training activities in 2019 and will train 104 youths in 2021 alone. The purpose is to organize agricultural training for youths, after which trainees are provided with agricultural equipment and a takeoff grant to set up their own personal agricultural enterprises. The program has empowered many youths in agribusiness. Today is the 2021 Batch 1 training, which is now undergoing their graduation. Uh, we have 34 of them from Oyo State and Lekiti State. I'm now a real farmer, commercial farmer, so I can pride of it anywhere I am now. Who, if, they, if, they, if, if they ask me, say, who, who are you? I say, I'm a farmer because I eat, I dash, I do whatever I like in the farming. So I'm very, very grateful that I can be a overall winner today. In line with its establishment, Abwad will continue to provide social leadership, setting the pace for development and remaining unwavering in its commitment to high ethical standards and the purest ideal of social responsibility. If there's any university that can be called federal, ours is the federal university. Providing the missing link.